Hi everyone, welcome to the next lecture. So today our next coding challenge is longest substring without repeating characters. So what this question is about, you have a string, you need to find the longest substring with, without any repeating characters. I hope you solve it and we'll see you on to the next lecture. Thank you everyone. Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture. In this lecture, we are going to look at longest substring without repeating characters. So what's the question about? So we have given a string ABC, ABC, BB. And in this, we need to find a longest substring character with, without any repeating words. So first we could look at ABC. We have a length of three. We have ABC again with a length three. If we look at CBB, we have maximum uh, two because CB is repeating. So we could see that the ma maximum uh, non-repeating characters uh, of substring is about length 3. So how do you solve this? A, a thumb rule is that if you get any question which requires a repeating method, uh, you need to go directly to the hash map. So how do we solve this? So suppose we have a string ABC, ABB and CBB. So what do we do this in? We create a hash map. In hash map, we have a key and we have value pair. So what do we do? So we in this key value pair, we save the key as a character like A and save the pair value as a number of element that appeared in the iteration. So we iterate from this and we see that it is coming only one time. So it's one. We then get on to the next character. We have key as a B and then we see uh, it's only appearing one time so it's value should be one time. We then iterate to C then we have value pairs C at appearing one time. Now we again appear to A and we here we could see that in our key value pair we already have one as a like we have already iterated to A. So we need to stop it and we need to count the length. So here we get the length 3. And similarly, we need to iterate for next word and so on. What we need to do is also we need to create a temporary variable we need where we need to store the maximum. And with this, I hope you are able to solve this question. If not, we have next lecture in this, we, we will code, it, code this solution out together. With this, I will see you on to the next lecture. Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture. In this lecture, we are going to code out the solution for longest substring without repeating characters. So first, we need to define the first variable left that we are going to iterate from. Left is equal to zero. Then we need a max length to store the uh, maximum substring length that we have gotten till far and which is zero. And then we need a dictionary to store the character value pair, char count. And this should be the empty dictionary. Then we need a right pointer that to iterate till the last of the string. So for right and range, then we are gonna iterate whole string so till length of the string. And then we if we gonna check if s dot right is if not in um, if not in our character count dictionary, then we're gonna add it with this character count. If not in character count, then we need to add those. So we add s right. Sorry, okay. S right. S right. Then we're gonna define it as a it have been added. Then we are gonna increment the value for it. So for this we define char count, uh, char count, the index of that element, that is s of right character, and then we are gonna increment its value, that is plus is equal. Now what will happen if the occurrence is more than one time? So we are gonna increment the left pointer, we are gonna decrease that. Uh, occurrence and then we're gonna reiterate and then we're gonna check if it's the mac occurrence or not so while char count is greater than one so if we check if the
the character count is more than one, then we uh, if char count uh, occurrence of the character is more than one, we gonna decrease it. We gonna increment the left pointer and we gonna check if it's it's the maximum longest substring or not. And now we are gonna check if it's the maximum length or not. So we gonna check if it's max length or not. Max length we gonna check. it's max occurrence or not max length so max function calculates maximum between two numbers which is very similar function that if a is greater than b then return a if else not b so we're gonna calculate right minus left plus one that is all calculating the string length if it's greater than max length that we have calculated then set the value to max length now let us return our value max length. Now let us submit our code. Hopefully there should be error. Okay, there is a spelling mistake. Need to fix it. Now let us submit our code and check our solution. Now let us submit. With this, I will see you on to the next lecture. Thank you everyone.